This video will cover the topic domain and range from the graph of a piecewise function. What are domain and range? The domain is the set of all numbers that appear as x-coordinates of points on the graph, and the range is the set of all numbers that appear as y-coordinates of points on the graph. Let's look at an example problem. Write the domain and range of the function h as intervals or unions of intervals. We can determine the domain and range by looking at the graph of the function. First, let's determine what the domain of this function is. If we look at the x value of where the function starts, we can see that it is at x equals negative 4. And the x value of where the function ends is x equals 4. Now if there is a gap in the function over the interval from negative 4 to 4, then we need to write the domain as a union of intervals. In this case, however, there is no gap between the values negative 4 and 4. But it looks like there's a gap at x equals 3. It does look like this, but even though there's a gap across the y-axis, there is no gap along the x-axis, which is all we need to focus on with the domain. So our domain is the interval from negative 4 to 4. Now we need to know whether we write this interval using square brackets or parentheses. Parentheses are used when the interval does not include the point, and square brackets are used when the interval does include the point. How do we know if the interval includes the point or not? Great question. We include all closed points in the interval and exclude all open points from the interval. So we place a square bracket next to negative 4 and 4, since they are both closed points. Let's determine the range of this function. For this, we look at the y values of the function. So the first y value is at y equals negative 5, and the last y value is at y equals 2. There's a gap in the range though, right? Yes, there is a gap between y equals negative 3 and negative 2. So we have to write our range as a union of two intervals. How do we write this? We write our first interval out and determine whether to use parentheses or square brackets. So for negative 5 to negative 3, we place a parenthesis next to negative 5 because there is an open circle at that point. We place a square bracket at negative 3 because there's a closed point at y equals negative 3. Now for the interval from negative 2 to 2, we follow the same procedure. And since both points are closed points, they are both included in our interval, and we use square brackets. Finally, we connect these intervals with the union symbol. Okay, I think this topic is really starting to make sense. First, we solve for the domain by looking at the x values of the function. If there is a gap between the x values, we write our answer as a union of intervals. If there is no gap, then we write the answer as one interval. Next, we look to see which points in the interval are included or excluded based on whether the points are open or closed. If a point is open, we use parentheses. If it's closed, we use square brackets. Finally, we repeat these steps for the range, looking at the y values of the function instead. You got it. 